How to Build Extreme Mental Toughness, David Goggins. David Goggins, a retired Navy SEAL and ultramarathon runner, is well known for his teachings on mental toughness. He emphasizes that building extreme mental toughness is about pushing beyond perceived limits and embracing discomfort. Here's a breakdown of some of his key principles for building extreme mental toughness. Embracing discomfort is a central tenet of David Goggins' approach to building mental toughness. Here's a closer look at how you can embrace discomfort effectively. Understanding Discomfort 1. Why Discomfort Matters Discomfort is a signal that you're pushing beyond your usual limits. It's a necessary part of growth and improvement. When you face discomfort, you're often on the brink of breaking through to a new level of capability or understanding. Strategies for Embracing Discomfort 1. Gradual Exposure Start with small, manageable discomforts to build resilience. For instance, if you're not used to physical exercise, begin with short, intense workouts and gradually increase their intensity and duration. 2. Set challenging goals. Push yourself with goals that challenge you but are still attainable. This could be running a longer distance, tackling a new skill, or taking on a demanding project. The key is to choose goals that stretch your limits. 3. Change your mindset. Shift your perspective on discomfort. Instead of viewing it as a negative experience, see it as an opportunity for growth and strength building. This mental shift can make facing discomfort easier and more productive. 4. Routine Challenges Incorporate regular challenges into your routine. This could be a daily cold shower, a tough workout, or taking on tasks that you find uncomfortable. Consistent practice helps you become accustomed to discomfort. 5. Focus on the long-term benefits. Remind yourself of the benefits that come from enduring discomfort. For example, the soreness after a workout leads to muscle growth, and the stress of a difficult task often leads to increased resilience and skill. 6. Develop coping strategies. Equip yourself with techniques to handle discomfort, such as mindfulness, breathing exercises, or mental affirmations. These strategies can help you manage the stress associated with pushing your limits. 7. Track your progress. Keep a record of your experiences with discomfort and how you've overcome them. Tracking your progress helps you see how far you've come and motivates you to continue pushing your boundaries. 8. Learn from discomfort. Reflect on what you learn from each experience of discomfort. What did you discover about your limits? How did you handle the situation? Use these insights to improve your approach to future challenges. 9. Stay consistent. Consistency is key to becoming comfortable with discomfort. Make facing challenges a regular part of your life so that discomfort becomes a normal part of your growth process. Example activities. Physical training. Engage in high-intensity workouts or endurance training to push your physical limits. Cold exposure. Take cold showers or ice baths to build resilience to physical discomfort. Public speaking. Practice speaking in front of groups to overcome social discomfort and improve communication skills. Learning new skills. Take on new and challenging skills or hobbies that push you out of your comfort zone. By regularly embracing and pushing through discomfort, you'll build mental and physical resilience, helping you to handle challenges more effectively and achieve your goals. The 40% rule is a key concept in David Goggins' philosophy on mental toughness. It's based on the idea that when you feel like you've reached your limit, you're actually only at about 40% of your full capacity. Here's a deeper look at how this rule works and how you can apply it. Understanding the 40% rule. 1. Concept origin. Goggins developed the 40% rule from his own experiences in intense physical and mental challenges. He observed that the human mind often gives up long before the body reaches its true limits. This rule suggests that you can push yourself much further than you think. 2. The mental barrier. The 40% rule highlights the mental barriers that limit our performance. When you're exhausted or feel like you can't continue, it's often your mind that's telling you to stop, not your body. Applying the 40% rule. 1. Recognize the limit. Pay attention to the point where you feel like you're at your limit. This is the moment to start pushing harder. Understand that this feeling is often just a signal that you need to overcome a mental barrier. 2. Push beyond the barrier. When you reach that point of exhaustion or discomfort, remind yourself of the 40% rule. Commit to pushing through and see how much further you can go. 
This could involve continuing a workout, tackling a challenging project, or facing a difficult situation. 3. Build mental endurance. Train your mind to recognize and resist these mental limits. Regularly engage in activities that challenge you to push past perceived limits, such as intense workouts, long-distance running, or demanding tasks. 4. Set incremental goals. Break down larger goals into smaller, incremental challenges. This approach helps you gradually extend your limits and apply the 40% rule effectively. For example, if you're training for a marathon, push yourself slightly beyond your comfort zone in each training session. 5. Use positive self-talk. Encourage yourself with positive affirmations and mental strategies when you hit your perceived limit. This self-talk can help you overcome the mental resistance and push through to the next level. 6. Reflect and adjust. After challenging yourself, reflect on the experience. How did it feel to push past your limit? What did you learn about your capacity? Adjust your approach based on these reflections to continue improving. 7. Embrace the challenge. View the struggle as an opportunity to grow stronger. Embrace the challenge of pushing beyond your limits and use it as motivation to keep pushing forward. Practical examples. Physical training, during a workout, when you feel like you can't complete another set or run another mile. Remind yourself of the 40% rule and push through. You might find that you have more energy and strength than you realized. Professional challenges. When working on a demanding project and you feel overwhelmed or ready to give up, use the 40% rule to encourage yourself to push through the difficulty and complete the task. Personal goals. If you're pursuing a personal goal that seems out of reach, such as learning a new skill or achieving a milestone, apply the 40% rule to keep yourself motivated and push past the mental barriers that arise. By applying the 40% rule, you can tap into untapped potential, overcome mental barriers, and achieve more than you thought possible. It's about leveraging your mind to push through the point where you typically would give up and discovering what you're truly capable of. Callous the Mind is a powerful concept from David Goggins that focuses on developing mental toughness through enduring and overcoming challenges. The idea is to build mental resilience in the same way that physical calluses are built on your hands through repeated use and exposure to friction. Here's how you can apply this concept to strengthen your mental fortitude. Understanding Callousing the Mind 1. Concept Overview Just as calluses protect your skin from repeated friction, Callousing the mind involves facing and overcoming adversity to make your mental state stronger and more resilient. It's about training your mind to handle stress, discomfort, and challenges more effectively. 2. Purpose The purpose of callousing the mind is to build a mental resilience that enables you to push through tough situations, stay focused under pressure, and remain unshaken by obstacles. Strategies for callousing the mind 1. Seek discomfort Regularly place yourself in uncomfortable situations to build mental strength. This could be through physical challenges like intense workouts, or through mental challenges such as public speaking or tackling difficult projects. The key is to push yourself beyond your usual limits. 2. Embrace adversity. Face adversity head-on rather than avoiding it. Whether it's dealing with setbacks, handling criticism, or managing stress, Approaching these challenges directly helps build mental resilience. 3. Practice resilience. Develop resilience by consistently dealing with challenges and setbacks. Reflect on difficult experiences and use them as opportunities for growth. The more you practice resilience, the stronger your mental calluses become. 4. Establish a routine. Create a routine that incorporates regular challenges and discomfort. For example, Set a daily habit of doing something that pushes you out of your comfort zone, such as cold showers, intense workouts, or tackling difficult tasks. 5. Mental toughness exercises. Engage in exercises that specifically aim to strengthen your mind. This could include visualization techniques, mindfulness practices, or mental challenges like solving complex problems under pressure. 6. Push through setbacks. When you encounter setbacks or failures, Use them as learning experiences rather than reasons to quit. Analyzing and overcoming these challenges builds mental resilience. 7. Develop a growth mindset. Adopt a growth mindset where you view challenges and failures as opportunities for learning and improvement. 
This mindset helps you approach difficulties with a positive attitude and a focus on personal development. 8. Set and achieve small goals. Set small, challenging goals and achieve them regularly. Each success builds your confidence and strengthens your mental resilience. Gradually increase the difficulty of these goals to continue challenging yourself. 9. Reflect and adapt. Regularly reflect on your experiences and how you've handled challenges. Identify areas where you can improve and adapt your approach to continue building mental toughness. Examples of callousing the mind. Physical training. Push yourself through tough workouts, run longer distances, or engage in extreme physical activities that test your endurance. Professional challenges. Take on challenging projects at work, seek out responsibilities that stretch your skills, or work on improving areas where you feel less confident. Personal growth. Face your fears, confront uncomfortable situations, or take on new and challenging hobbies that require dedication and perseverance. By consistently applying these strategies and facing challenges head-on, you'll build a stronger, more resilient mind capable of handling adversity with greater ease. Callousing the mind is about becoming mentally tough through repeated exposure to difficulties and learning to thrive despite them. The accountability mirror is a concept from David Goggins that emphasizes personal accountability and self-improvement. It involves using a literal or metaphorical mirror to confront your own weaknesses and shortcomings honestly. Here's how you can use the accountability mirror to drive personal growth. Understanding the accountability mirror. 1. Concept Overview The accountability mirror is about facing the truth about yourself and your situation. It's a tool for self-reflection and personal accountability where you confront your flaws, mistakes, and areas needing improvement. 2. Purpose The purpose is to hold yourself accountable for your actions and decisions, to recognize where you need to improve, and to set goals for personal growth. It's a way to have an honest dialogue with yourself to make meaningful changes. How to use the accountability mirror 1. Be brutally honest When you look into the accountability mirror, you need to be completely honest about your strengths and weaknesses. Identify areas where you've fallen short, made mistakes, or need to improve. Avoid making excuses or blaming external factors. 2. Write it down. Goggins recommends writing down your weaknesses, goals, and areas of improvement on sticky notes or a whiteboard and placing them where you can see them regularly. This visual reminder helps keep you focused on what you need to work on. 3. Set clear goals. Based on your self-assessment, set specific, actionable goals for improvement. These goals should address the weaknesses or shortcomings you've identified and should be measurable so you can track your progress. 4. Develop an action plan. Create a detailed plan to achieve your goals. Outline the steps you need to take, set deadlines, and identify resources or support you might need. Having a clear plan helps you stay accountable and focused. 5. Regular check-ins. Frequently revisit the accountability mirror to review your progress. Assess how well you're sticking to your goals, acknowledge improvements, and adjust your plan if necessary. Regular check-ins keep you on track and motivated. 6. Embrace the process. Understand that this process involves confronting uncomfortable truths and making difficult changes. Embrace this as part of your growth journey and view it as an opportunity to build strength and resilience. 7. Celebrate successes. As you make progress and achieve your goals, take time to acknowledge and celebrate your successes. Recognizing your achievements reinforces positive behavior and motivates you to continue striving for improvement. 8. Seek feedback. In addition to self-reflection, seek feedback from others who can provide an external perspective on your strengths and areas for improvement. Incorporate this feedback into your accountability mirror process. Examples of using the accountability mirror. Personal fitness. If you've been struggling with fitness goals, write down the specific areas where you need improvement, e.g., consistency, diet, workout intensity. Develop a plan to address these issues and track your progress regularly. Professional development. If you're facing challenges in your career, identify the skills or habits that need improvement. Set goals for professional development and create a plan to enhance those skills. Personal relationships. If there are issues in your relationships, use the accountability mirror to reflect on your role in those issues. Set goals to improve communication, understanding, or other aspects of the relationship. 
By using the accountability mirror, you create a powerful tool for self-improvement. It helps you stay honest with yourself, set clear goals, and develop a plan to achieve them, ultimately leading to personal growth and development. Developing a strong why is a crucial element of David Goggins' approach to mental toughness. Your why is the fundamental reason or motivation behind your actions and goals. It serves as a powerful driving force that helps you stay focused, motivated, and committed, even when faced with challenges. Here's how to effectively develop and use your why. Understanding your why. 1. Concept Overview Your why is the deep, personal reason behind why you pursue certain goals or challenges. It's the underlying motivation that fuels your drive and perseverance. Knowing your why helps you stay committed, especially during tough times. 2. Importance A strong why provides clarity and purpose. It turns goals from abstract aspirations into meaningful objectives. It also helps you overcome obstacles, stay resilient, and maintain motivation. How to develop your why? 1. Reflect on your values and passions. Start by identifying what truly matters to you. Reflect on your values, passions, and what drives you. Consider what you care deeply about and what inspires you to take action. 2. Identify personal motivations. Dig deep to understand why you want to achieve a particular goal or face a specific challenge. Is it to fulfill a personal dream, improve your life, help others, or prove something to yourself? Your motivation should resonate with you on a personal level. 3. Connect with emotions. Your why should evoke strong emotions. Think about how achieving your goals will impact your life, your relationships, or your self-worth. Connecting emotionally to your why makes it more compelling and motivating. 4. Visualize your success. Imagine the positive outcomes and benefits of achieving your goals. Visualizing success helps reinforce your why and provides a clear picture of what you're working towards. 5. Write it down. Articulate your why in a clear and concise statement. Write it down and keep it visible, such as on a vision board, in a journal, or as a reminder on your phone. This constant reminder helps keep your motivation strong. 6. Make it specific and personal. Ensure that your why is specific to you and your goals. Avoid generic reasons and focus on what uniquely drives you. The more personal and specific your why is, the more powerful it will be. 7. Test your why. Evaluate the strength of your why by considering how it stands up to challenges and setbacks. If your why is strong enough, it should help you persevere through difficulties and maintain focus on your goals. 8. Revisit and refine. Your why can evolve over time. Periodically revisit and refine it as you progress and grow. Adjust it to reflect changes in your goals, values, and experiences. Examples of developing a why. Fitness goals. If you're working towards better fitness, your why might be to improve your health to be more active with your family or to overcome a personal health challenge. This deeper motivation helps you stay committed to your workouts and lifestyle changes. Career aspirations. If you're pursuing a career change or advancement, your why could be to achieve financial stability, follow your passion, or make a meaningful impact in your field. This motivation helps you stay focused and driven through challenges in your career. Personal development. If you're working on personal growth, your why might be to build confidence, overcome past traumas, or become a better version of yourself. This strong personal reason keeps you motivated to continue working on yourself. Using your why. Set goals. Align your goals with your why to ensure they are meaningful and motivating. Stay motivated. Use your why as a source of inspiration during tough times. Remind yourself of it regularly to stay focused. Measure progress. Reflect on how achieving your goals brings you closer to fulfilling your why and celebrate your progress. By developing a strong, personal why, you create a powerful foundation for achieving your goals and overcoming challenges. It provides you with a clear sense of purpose and motivation, making it easier to stay committed and focused on your path. Visualization is a powerful mental technique used by David Goggins to enhance performance and mental toughness. By visualizing both success and failure, you prepare yourself for various scenarios, which helps you handle challenges more effectively. Here's how to use visualization to build mental toughness. Understanding Visualization 
1. Concept Overview Visualization involves creating mental images of scenarios, outcomes, and processes. By imagining both successful and unsuccessful outcomes, you prepare yourself for a range of possibilities and strengthen your mental resilience. 2. Purpose The purpose of visualization is to mentally prepare for challenges, boost confidence, and improve performance. It helps you anticipate potential obstacles and plan strategies to overcome them, making you more adaptable and resilient. How to use visualization 1. Visualize success Imagine achieving your goals. Create vivid mental images of successfully achieving your goals. Picture the process, the emotions, and the results. For example, if you're training for a marathon, visualize crossing the finish line and feeling the sense of accomplishment. Focus on details. Include as many sensory details as possible. How success looks, feels, sounds, and even smells. The more detailed your visualization, the more real it becomes in your mind, boosting your confidence and motivation. Experience the emotions. Feel the positive emotions associated with success, such as pride, joy, and satisfaction. Experiencing these emotions mentally can enhance your motivation and commitment. Visualize failure. Anticipate challenges. Imagine potential obstacles or failures that could occur. Think about what might go wrong and how you would handle those situations. This helps you prepare mentally for setbacks and reduces their impact. Plan your response. Visualize how you will respond to failure or challenges. Imagine yourself staying calm, assessing the situation, and taking effective action to overcome the issue. This mental rehearsal prepares you for real-life scenarios. Learn from setbacks. Use visualization to analyze past failures and learn from them. Picture yourself making different choices or handling the situation better. This helps you grow from your experiences and improve your problem-solving skills. 3. Combine success and failure visualization. Create a balanced perspective. Visualize both success and failure to gain a balanced perspective. This approach helps you stay motivated and prepared, regardless of the outcome. You'll be better equipped to handle unexpected challenges and stay focused on your goals. Develop contingency plans. Use visualization to develop contingency plans for potential setbacks. Imagine how you would adjust your strategy or approach if things don't go as planned. This proactive mindset helps you stay resilient and adaptable. 4. Regular practice. Daily routine. Incorporate visualization into your daily routine. Spend a few minutes each day visualizing success and failure scenarios. Regular practice helps reinforce your mental resilience and keeps you prepared for various outcomes. Before key events, use visualization before important events, such as competitions, presentations, or major tasks. Visualizing both success and failure helps you stay calm, focused, and ready for any situation. 5. Monitor and adjust. Track your progress. Monitor how your visualization practice affects your performance and mental toughness. Reflect on the effectiveness of your visualizations and adjust them as needed to improve your results. Adapt your approach. As you gain experience and encounter new challenges, adapt your visualization techniques to address evolving needs and goals. Examples of visualization. Sports performance. An athlete might visualize successfully executing a perfect play or overcoming a tough opponent, while also imagining potential mistakes and how to recover from them. Public speaking. Before a presentation, Visualize yourself speaking confidently and engaging with the audience, as well as handling potential issues such as technical difficulties or tough questions. Career goals. Visualize achieving career milestones, such as completing a major project or receiving a promotion, while also imagining potential obstacles and planning strategies to address them. By incorporating both success and failure visualization into your routine, you prepare yourself mentally for a wide range of scenarios enhancing your ability to handle challenges and achieve your goals. This balanced approach helps build confidence, resilience, and adaptability. Self-discipline and consistency are crucial components of David Goggins' approach to mental toughness and achieving personal goals. They form the foundation for sustained effort and long-term success. Here's how you can cultivate self-discipline and consistency in your life. Understanding Self-Discipline and Consistency 1. Self-Discipline Concept Overview Self-discipline is the ability to control your impulses 
emotions, and behaviors to stay focused on your long-term goals. It involves making choices that align with your objectives, even when it's difficult or inconvenient. Importance. Self-discipline helps you stay committed to your goals, avoid distractions, and overcome challenges. It's essential for achieving high performance and personal growth. 2. Consistency. Concept Overview Consistency refers to regularly performing actions that contribute to your goals, regardless of circumstances or feelings. It's about maintaining a steady effort over time. Importance Consistency builds momentum, creates habits, and reinforces progress. It ensures that you stay on track and steadily move toward your objectives. How to Develop Self-Discipline 1. Set Clear Goals Define Objectives Clearly define your short-term and long-term goals. Having specific, measurable goals helps you stay focused and motivated. Break down goals. Break larger goals into smaller, manageable tasks. This makes them less overwhelming and easier to tackle. 2. Create a plan. Develop a routine. Establish a daily or weekly routine that includes actions aligned with your goals. Consistent routines help build self-discipline by creating structure and reducing decision fatigue. Prioritize tasks. Identify your most important tasks and prioritize them. Focus on completing high-impact activities that contribute directly to your goals. 3. Build good habits. Start small. Begin with small, manageable habits that are easy to incorporate into your routine. Gradually build on these habits to develop greater self-discipline. Reinforce positive behavior. Reward yourself for sticking to your plan and achieving milestones. Positive reinforcement encourages continued effort and adherence to your routine. 4. Overcome procrastination. Identify triggers. Recognize the triggers or habits that lead to procrastination. Address these triggers by implementing strategies to stay focused and productive. Use time management techniques. Employ techniques such as the Pomodoro Technique or time blocking to manage your time effectively and stay on task. 5. Maintain focus. Minimize distractions. Create an environment that reduces distractions and helps you stay focused on your tasks. This might involve organizing your workspace or setting boundaries with others. Practice mindfulness. Use mindfulness techniques to stay present and focused on your tasks. Mindfulness helps you manage stress and maintain concentration. How to build consistency. 1. Establish a routine. Create a schedule. Develop a consistent daily or weekly schedule that includes time for key activities related to your goals. Stick to this schedule as closely as possible. Make it a habit. Integrate your routine into your daily life until it becomes a habit. Consistent actions become automatic with time and repetition. 2. Track your progress. Monitor achievements. Keep track of your progress toward your goals. Regularly review your achievements and areas for improvement. Adjust as needed. Make adjustments to your routine or plan based on your progress and any challenges you encounter. 3. Stay accountable. Set accountability measures. Use accountability partners, coaches, or self-monitoring tools to keep yourself accountable for your actions and progress. Share goals. Share your goals with others to create external accountability. Having someone to check in with can help you stay committed. 4. Adapt and evolve. Be flexible. Adapt your routine or strategies as needed based on your experiences and changing circumstances. Flexibility helps you maintain consistency even when faced with challenges. Learn and improve. Continuously learn from your experiences and seek ways to improve your routine and habits. 5. Stay motivated. Visualize success. Regularly visualize the successful achievement of your goals. This helps reinforce your commitment and motivation. Celebrate milestones. Acknowledge and celebrate your achievements along the way. Recognizing progress keeps you motivated and reinforces positive behavior. Examples of applying self-discipline and consistency. Fitness routine. Commit to a regular workout schedule, even on days when you feel unmotivated. Build a consistent exercise habit to achieve long-term fitness goals. Work projects. Follow a structured plan for work projects, maintaining consistency in your efforts and deadlines. This ensures steady progress and successful project completion. Personal development. Establish a daily routine for personal development activities, such as reading or skill-building exercises. Consistent practice leads to continuous growth and improvement. 
By developing self-discipline and maintaining consistency, you create a strong foundation for achieving your goals and overcoming obstacles. These qualities help you stay focused, committed, and resilient, leading to long-term success and personal growth. Embracing the no-one-cares mentality is a crucial part of David Goggins' philosophy on mental toughness. This mindset involves recognizing that, ultimately, you are responsible for your own success and challenges. It helps you build resilience and self-reliance by understanding that external validation and support are secondary to your own efforts and determination. Here's how to embrace and apply this mentality. Understanding the no-one-cares mentality. 1. Concept Overview the no one cares mentality emphasizes that the world is indifferent to your struggles and aspirations. It's about accepting that you must rely on your own efforts, discipline, and perseverance to achieve your goals, rather than expecting others to care or support you. 2. Purpose The purpose of this mentality is to foster self-reliance and resilience. By acknowledging that external factors and people are not obligated to help or validate you, you can focus on taking personal responsibility and driving your own success. How to embrace the no one cares mentality. 1. Accept responsibility. Own your journey. Recognize that you are the primary driver of your own success and failures. Take full responsibility for your actions, decisions, and outcomes. Stop blaming others. Avoid blaming external factors or other people for your challenges or shortcomings. Instead, Focus on what you can control and how you can improve. 2. Develop self-reliance. Build internal motivation. Rely on your own inner drive and motivation rather than seeking validation or support from others. Cultivate a strong internal sense of purpose and determination. Create your own solutions. When facing obstacles, focus on finding solutions and taking action yourself. Develop problem-solving skills and resilience to handle challenges independently. 3. Let go of external validation. Shift your focus. Focus on your goals and personal growth rather than seeking approval or recognition from others. Understand that your value and success are not dependent on external validation. Avoid seeking attention. Refrain from seeking praise or acknowledgement for your efforts. Instead, let your results and achievements speak for themselves. 4. Embrace hard work. Put in the effort. Be prepared to put in the hard work and effort required to achieve your goals. Understand that success often involves long hours, sacrifices, and perseverance. Push through discomfort. Accept that challenges and discomfort are part of the process. Embrace the grind and stay committed to your goals, even when it's tough. 5. Cultivate resilience. Develop mental toughness. Strengthen your mental resilience by facing and overcoming adversity. Use setbacks as opportunities to build character and determination. Stay focused. Maintain your focus and commitment, regardless of external circumstances or the reactions of others. Keep pushing forward towards your goals. 6. Set and achieve personal standards. Define your own success. Set clear, personal standards and goals that align with your values and aspirations. Measure your success based on your own criteria rather than comparing yourself to others. Self-evaluate. Regularly assess your progress and performance against your own standards. Make adjustments and improvements based on your self-evaluation. 7. Practice self-discipline. Stick to your plan. Adhere to your goals and plans with discipline and consistency. Follow through on your commitments, even when it's challenging or when you don't receive support from others. Build good habits. Develop and maintain habits that contribute to your success. Focus on daily actions that align with your goals and reinforce your commitment. Examples of applying the no one cares mentality. Career challenges. When facing obstacles at work, rely on your own skills and perseverance to overcome them. Understand that it's up to you to find solutions and drive your career forward. Fitness goals. Pursue your fitness goals with dedication and discipline, regardless of whether others acknowledge or support your efforts. Focus on your personal progress and achievements. Personal projects. Work on personal projects or passions with commitment and self-motivation. Recognize that it's your responsibility to push through challenges and achieve your goals. By embracing the no one cares mentality, you empower yourself to take full responsibility for your success and challenges. It helps you build self-reliance, resilience, 
and a strong internal drive, allowing you to achieve your goals and overcome obstacles on your own terms. Stay hard is a mantra and philosophy central to David Goggin's approach to mental toughness. It encapsulates the idea of maintaining a high level of mental and physical resilience, regardless of the challenges or obstacles you face. Here's how to embody and apply this stay hard mentality. Understanding stay hard. 1. Concept Overview Stay hard refers to the relentless pursuit of personal strength and resilience. It's about continually pushing yourself beyond your limits, maintaining mental fortitude, and refusing to be deterred by difficulties. 2. Purpose The purpose of Stay Hard is to build and maintain a high level of mental and physical toughness. It encourages you to confront and overcome challenges with determination, discipline, and grit. How to Embrace Stay Hard 1. Adopt a Growth Mindset Embrace Challenges View challenges as opportunities for growth and self-improvement. Approach difficulties with a mindset that they are part of the journey to becoming stronger and more resilient. Learn from adversity. Use setbacks and failures as learning experiences. Analyze what went wrong, adjust your approach, and apply those lessons to future challenges. 2. Push beyond your limits. Test your boundaries. Regularly push yourself outside your comfort zone. Engage in activities or challenges that test your physical and mental limits and use these experiences to build resilience. Endure discomfort. Embrace discomfort and adversity as part of the process. Understand that true growth often occurs when you are willing to endure hardship and keep pushing forward. 3. Maintain discipline. Stick to your goals. Stay committed to your goals and plans, even when motivation wanes. Practice discipline by adhering to your routine and consistently taking actions that lead to success. Create and follow routines. Develop daily habits and routines that reinforce your commitment to your goals. Consistency and discipline are key to maintaining resilience and achieving long-term success. 4. Build mental toughness. Practice resilience. Strengthen your mental toughness by regularly facing and overcoming challenges. Use mental exercises and techniques to build your ability to stay focused and resilient under pressure. Develop grit. Cultivate grit by persistently pursuing your goals despite difficulties or setbacks. Embrace a no-quit attitude and continue pushing forward even when it's tough. 5. Focus on self-improvement. Set high standards. Set high standards for yourself and strive to meet or exceed them. Challenge yourself to constantly improve and push your boundaries. Seek continuous growth. Always look for ways to enhance your skills, knowledge, and abilities. Commit to lifelong learning and personal development. 6. Adopt a no-excuses attitude. Take responsibility. Own your actions, decisions, and outcomes. Avoid making excuses or blaming external factors for your challenges or failures. Maintain accountability. Hold yourself accountable for your progress and performance. Regularly assess your efforts and make adjustments as needed to stay on track. 7. Build physical and mental endurance. Engage in tough training. Incorporate challenging physical training into your routine to build endurance and strength. Physical toughness complements mental resilience and vice versa. Practice mental endurance. Use mental endurance exercises, such as visualization and mindfulness, to strengthen your ability to stay focused and determined under pressure. Examples of applying stay hard. Fitness and athletics. Commit to rigorous training routines and push through physical challenges. Use setbacks, such as injuries or performance plateaus, as opportunities to build resilience and improve your approach. Professional challenges. Tackle demanding projects or career goals with determination and discipline. Maintain a strong work ethic and push through obstacles, even when faced with difficult circumstances. Personal development. Pursue personal growth goals with persistence and commitment. Challenge yourself to overcome fears, develop new skills, and achieve your aspirations. By embracing the stay hard mentality, you cultivate a mindset of unwavering determination and resilience. It encourages you to continually push your limits, maintain discipline, and stay focused on your goals, ultimately leading to greater personal strength and success. Controlled suffering is a key concept in David Goggin's philosophy, emphasizing the deliberate and purposeful use of discomfort and adversity to build mental and physical resilience. 
It involves intentionally placing yourself in challenging situations to develop strength, perseverance, and character. Here's how to understand and apply controlled suffering. Understanding controlled suffering. 1. Concept Overview Controlled suffering refers to intentionally exposing yourself to discomfort or adversity in a structured way to enhance your mental and physical toughness. It's about embracing challenges and using them as tools for growth and self-improvement. 2. Purpose The purpose of controlled suffering is to build resilience and fortitude by facing and overcoming difficulties. By willingly experiencing discomfort, you prepare yourself to handle unexpected challenges with greater strength and confidence. How to Practice Controlled Suffering 1. Set challenging goals. Identify areas for growth. Choose goals that push you outside your comfort zone and require significant effort and perseverance. These goals should be challenging enough to induce discomfort but manageable with consistent effort. Commit to the challenge. Fully commit to your chosen goals understanding that they will involve periods of discomfort and struggle. Embrace the challenge as an opportunity for growth. 2. Design your discomfort. Create a structured plan. Design a plan that includes specific activities or experiences that will induce controlled suffering. This could involve physical challenges, demanding projects, or rigorous training routines. Incorporate variety. Include a variety of challenges to address different aspects of resilience such as physical endurance, mental fortitude, and emotional strength. 3. Embrace the process. Welcome discomfort. Adopt a mindset that views discomfort as a valuable part of the growth process. Accept that suffering is an essential component of building strength and resilience. Stay present. Focus on the present moment and the task at hand. Use techniques such as mindfulness to manage discomfort and maintain concentration. 4. Manage your mindset. Cultivate mental toughness. Strengthen your mental resilience by regularly engaging in controlled suffering. Use these experiences to develop a strong, unyielding mindset that can handle adversity. Use positive self-talk. Reinforce your commitment and motivation with positive self-talk. Remind yourself of the benefits and growth that come from enduring discomfort. 5. Reflect and learn. Assess your experience. After each controlled suffering experience, Reflect on what you've learned and how you've grown. Analyze how the experience has impacted your resilience and personal development. Adjust your approach. Based on your reflections, make adjustments to your approach or goals as needed. Continuously seek ways to challenge yourself and enhance your growth. 6. Build resilience through repetition. Consistency is key. Regularly engage in controlled suffering to build and maintain resilience. Consistent exposure to challenging situations strengthens your ability to handle adversity over time. Progress gradually. Increase the intensity or complexity of your challenges gradually. This ensures continuous growth while minimizing the risk of burnout or injury. 7. Balance and recovery. Allow for recovery. Ensure you incorporate recovery and rest into your routine. Balance periods of controlled suffering with adequate recovery to avoid overtraining and maintain overall well-being. Maintain perspective. Keep a balanced perspective on controlled suffering. Understand that while discomfort is valuable for growth, it should be managed to avoid excessive strain or negative impact on your health. Examples of controlled suffering. Physical challenges. Engage in intense physical training, such as long-distance running, extreme workouts, or endurance events. Use these challenges to build physical strength and resilience. Professional projects. Take on demanding projects or roles that push your skills and abilities. Embrace the difficulties and stress as opportunities to grow and improve in your career. Personal growth. Pursue personal development activities that challenge your comfort zone, such as public speaking, learning new skills, or overcoming personal fears. By incorporating controlled suffering into your routine, you intentionally expose yourself to discomfort and adversity, fostering resilience and personal growth. This approach helps you build mental and physical toughness, preparing you to handle challenges with greater strength and confidence. In conclusion, David Goggin's approach to mental toughness emphasizes the importance of embracing challenges, pushing beyond your limits, and maintaining a relentless drive towards personal growth. Here's a recap of the key principles. Embrace discomfort. 
Seek out and accept discomfort as a means to build resilience. Facing challenges head-on strengthens your mental and physical fortitude. The 40% Rule Understand that you are capable of much more than you think. When you feel you're at your limit, you've only tapped into a fraction of your potential. Push beyond your perceived limits to achieve greater things. Callous the mind. Develop mental toughness by repeatedly exposing yourself to challenges and adversity. Just as physical calluses protect your skin, mental calluses protect you from psychological stress and discomfort. Accountability mirror. Hold yourself accountable by reflecting on your actions and goals. Use a mirror to honestly evaluate your progress and make necessary changes. Develop a why. Find a deep, personal reason for pursuing your goals. A strong why fuels your motivation and helps you stay committed, even in the face of difficulties. Visualize success and failure. Use visualization to prepare for both successful and challenging outcomes. This practice helps you anticipate and plan for potential obstacles while reinforcing your commitment to success. Self-discipline and consistency. Build self-discipline and maintain consistency in your efforts. These qualities are essential for achieving long-term success and overcoming obstacles. Embrace the no-one-cares mentality. Recognize that you are ultimately responsible for your own success and challenges. Rely on your own efforts and determination rather than seeking validation or support from others. Stay hard. Maintain a high level of mental and physical resilience by continually pushing your limits and embracing challenges. Cultivate a mindset of unwavering determination and strength. Controlled suffering. Deliberately expose yourself to discomfort and adversity to build resilience. Use controlled suffering as a tool for growth and self-improvement, understanding that it is a crucial part of developing toughness. By integrating these principles into your life, you build a robust foundation of mental toughness that empowers you to face challenges, achieve your goals, and continuously grow as an individual.